Friday to everyone. Let's go Friday. <laughs> How are you, Gina? I'm doing good. I'm trying to see if I can get this up on my computer. Oh, okay. Well, let me say hi to the friends that's here. Thank you for all the thumbs up. I can see it. I can see it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Um, okay, so let's say hi to our friends who's here first. Fatima, good evening, honey. Alicia, how are you? <laughs> um, Jessica is here. Gina, Gina S. Gina number one and number two present. Christina, happy Friday, sweetie. Bonnie, how are you? Miss Tammy is here. I can watch tonight because I'm homesick from work. Very, very good. My coworker, my coworker friend, I asked her because I heard that she's like she left in the middle of the shift. And I called her and I said, what happened to you, girl? Are you okay? She's like, yeah, I'm all right. I just got, I just got a bad case of the, I don't care. <laughs> So she I went home. Other words, but she was probably being polite. Yes. <laughs> she, yeah, she got the bad, she got a bad case of the I don't care. So that's why she went home. Um, so I hope you're okay, Tammy. I hope you got a bad case of the I don't care as well and not actually physically, medically sick. Um, and if you are sick, I hope you feel better soon, friend. Um, it is lagging on my end. Okay, don't forget the thumbs up. Thank you so much for the reminder, Bon. Sunny sunrise. Hello. Happy, happy you're back. Thanks for being here. Welcome, everyone, tonight. Uh, oh, Bex is here also. Welcome. Thank you. Thank Hi, you, everybody. Cousin Rowie. Hello. Cousin Sandra is here. Hello, Erica. You're here. Thank you so much. Um, Erica is here, Mimi's here, Fiatrina's here, what's up? Bev's is in the house as well. Happy Friday, everyone. How was your week, Gina? If you if you can give three words to describe your week, how was it? My week? Yeah, okay, your week. That, that means starting Monday, correct? Yeah, starting Monday. How was your week? Okay, here's my three words. Pooped, pooped, and pooped. Oh my God, you must be pooped. <laughs> you must be exhausted. Is it because of the traveling and everything? Oh, Jacqueline is here. Vera, oh, hello. I was, and it was just, it was stressful coming home on the, I have to tell y'all what happened. Okay, tell us. I was all driving about what in the slow lane all the way home because I was feeling kind of tired and sluggish. <laughs> and I didn't want to deal with people riding my tail in the fast lane. So I mm -hmm, stayed mm -hmm. in the slow lane. I came up to a really steep upgrade. I got to the top of the hill. I was behind a big rig, and he was going like two miles an hour. Jeez. So I stepped on the gas to get over to the fast lane. And, you know, you have to step fast because the cars are coming fast, right? Mm-hmm. Go fast. Go up over the hill. And, you know, when you start to go down, your speed is accelerated, mm -hmm. right? Before I could even step on my brake, the damn cop saw me and pulled oh. me over. My God, that is terrible. My, terrible, first, terrible. my first ever traffic ticket at all, parking mm -hmm. or moving or nothing. I've never had one. I told him that and he still gave me a ticket. Oh, my God. That's horrible. Yeah. Oh, so anyway, I'm sorry. I, I, was pretty, I was pretty wiped out. <laughs> pretty wiped That's out. exhausting. That's exhausting. Yeah. Uh, I'm so sorry, friend. That sucks. That sucks like everything. That means um, I have to. That means I have to go to school or yeah, schooling court and is hope horrible. He doesn't show up. <laughs> schooling is horrible. Yeah. Um, hello, Jacqueline Hi, Smith from New York. Hello, 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 Jacqueline Hi, Smith from New York. Hi, Jessica. Uh, Hi, everybody. Freedom, freedom is here. Denise is here. Vero, Alvina. Okay, cool. Everybody, roll call is done. I stopped counting my tickets. <laughs> that's funny, Jacqueline. <laughs> Jacqueline, that's funny. Um, Susie from Illinois. Hello, happy Friday. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Mine is hot. Oh, my God. It was 101 yesterday. Wow. Really hot. And when you have allergies and your eyes are swollen and your nose, it's not... 
it's not the best combination. I tried to go to the gym yesterday and I sneezed like 10 times wow. consecutively. Consecutively. And then the guy beside me is like looking at me like you're the plague. Get out. Oh, and I, you know, you have the boxing glove, right? You have the boxing glove, you have the bandages and then the boxing glove. And I'm like, my nose is running. It's just going. <laughs> I'm, like, oh, I'm no. leaving. <laughs> I left. I left. I couldn't because my nose was literally running and I have the box boxing glove and I, I can't how can I wipe on my shirt the boxing glove is like this big and chunky. Rowan, you're yeah. funny. <laughs> do you see what Rowan said? Bad girls, bad girls, what are you gonna do? What you gonna <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rowan. <laughs> I love you. Hi Chiquita. <laughs> Hi, Jimmy. Hey, Crafter. How are you? Same thing happened to Hi, Beverly Boo. in Georgia. Speeding ticket for passing an 18 wheeler. What? That's horrible. That is horrible. Jacqueline st says, What state are you in? She is in Nevada. And it's, it's 81 degrees here at 6 p.m. 81 degrees. Dude, I'm like, uh huh. Mine was ninety seven when I picked up Lexi. Hmm. That's Hot. good enough to cook an egg, right? You can cook an egg <laughs> with that ninety seven. I feel like wow. So okay. So what are we talking about today? Today we are going to discuss vision boards, but I also want to discuss before the vision board portion of this, I want to discuss what prompts vision boards, what they are about, so that you have an understanding because you, you know, a vision board, it's not just throwing a board up on the wall and sticking some pictures on it. That's not how mm -hmm. it works. So mm -hmm. I want to walk you through all of that really quickly. I'm not schooled in any way. This is my disclaimer. I just know what works for me, what I've been doing all the years that I've been doing vision boards, which is well over, I want to say over at least 40 years that I've had one. And everything on my boards have come to fruition with the exception of two items. And I will discuss those with you when we get further into this. So are you all ready? We're ready. Woo! Okay. So right now, <laughs> yeah, so right now I suggest you have a pen and pencil or paper handy just to take your little notes about this. I, I'm sure some of you are aware of the things of what I'm going to discuss, but for those who don't, it's good to write it down and kind of try to follow along on this part because this is the most important part of a vision board. And that becomes your... Um, Meat and potatoes. Well, that becomes what we're going to call the law of attraction right there. Ooh, okay, Rowie's taking notes. Jessica says she's ready. Erica's ready. Sandra says lesson number one. Bex is yeah, 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 ready. Jess awesome. is focused, focused. Law of attraction. Okay. Go ahead. Take so, it away. Law of attraction. What is the law of attraction? The law of attraction is the energies that are in this world that guide us, that direct us where we're going, that there, it's like a, an energy force that's out there. And what vision boards do is they help you to put out the good energies out into the universe so that you can get the good energies back. And I'll give you some little examples along the way here. I also want to tell you that this is nothing new. I mean, granted, when I started, it was new to me because I, you know, I had nobody to tell me. I just knew I wanted certain things and that's how I achieved it. And then later in the years, and some of you may know this came this, it's called the secret. The secret, when you start to watch this, please do not assume it's based on religion. This has nothing to do with religion. It's strictly the earth's energies and the energies that surround each and every one of us. So when this video, when we're done with the class today, Christian will put a link in the description box and it will be to where you can watch this. It used to be on Netflix, but it's not anymore. So I love um, that. I love that. I movie. have a link to where you can watch it. And I suggest that you watch it. It's interesting. It's about an hour long, but it's very well worth listening to and probably will reiterate things that I'm saying to you today anyway. So 
I'm going to put have her put that link for you. And that's where the principles of all of this kind of fall into. So, so the one thing that becomes with the law of, of attraction is you have to do several things. You have to remove negativity from your life as much as you possibly can. You have to be consciously aware of what is happening around you. And you have to visualize. Those are the things that help with the law of attraction and all of that. So how many of you have had this experience? You're late for work. You get in your car. You're running late. You're stressed out because you know you're going to be late. And you hit every single red light that comes your way. You can't oh see. Oh, my gosh. Break. That is because what you are projecting into the universe is your negativity. And in return, you're getting red lights. That's your negative oh. energies working. So you have to try to learn how to work around all of that um, by using positive words, not negative words, by doing positive actions, not negative actions. And um, there was another time, too, when have you noticed, like, let's say you you woke up today and you were extremely happy like last night, you had the best night of your life. Today, you're extremely happy. You go out into the world. You go to see your friends at work or you go to see your family members and you're just happy. Have you noticed that it reflects and that everyone around you is then happy because they're feeding off of your energy? And that's what the law of attraction deals with, those <laughs> energies. Any questions so far? I love it. Just, a, just like a side note. When this was available in Netflix, and that was probably around 2010 when it first came out, because when I I remember this movie specifically, I watched it and I subscribed to Netflix, and we've been members of Netflix since 2010. Oh wow! Is it 2010? Yes, I think it's 2010, maybe, or some somewhere like earlier. But man, this movie. It definitely has nothing to do with religion. You can no. still, like, if you believe in God, you can believe in God. You can believe in Mama Mary and all the saints still. But this one, I feel like, is is a little bit more intrinsic in you. And you can still believe in God if you don't believe in God or whoever you believe in. But I feel like this is conditioning yourself too, right, Gina? Conditioning yourself it, and creating, like, a mindset for is. your and brain, you can, rewiring it. Yes, and you have to be conscious of that all the time. And it's difficult. Believe me, I've been doing this for years and years. And I still have days where I feel negative. And it's just, you have to find a way not to be. So here's another example for you. Try to change the I can't to I'll give it a try. If you say I can't, guess what? You can't because you already told the energies around you, you can't do it. So instead of saying I can't, say I'll give it a try. And then later on, if you're not able to still do whatever that was, it's better telling the universe I tried and and I didn't accomplish than it is to say I can't do it, period. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the mindset you have to get into where you're changing the negative words that are in your vocabulary. Don't, won't, can't, all of those kinds of words. Those are terrible, terrible words to throw out into your energy force because that brings all of that to you the can'ts the won'ts the don'ts and the shouldn'ts mm -hmm. so with, with a vision board this is going to teach you how to focus on certain things in your life to make your life better and I can tell you by far my my life has changed a lot I've been able to do so many things that I couldn't otherwise and I think a lot of it has to do with that with the energy I put out there and with my vision boards and, and practicing, you have to practice. You cannot just put it up and think that things are going to change. They won't. You have to put it into action and you have to, um, you have to try to focus on positivity instead of negativity. Okay. Yes. So basically that's all I have to say about the law of attraction and what this is basically about. Now I'm going to go ahead and get into the vision board aspect of this. Move these over here a little bit. And I'm going to start off by showing you. <clears throat> this is my current vision board, but it is on my wall and I can't bring it. I just want you to see mm -hmm. that I do have it. It's in my craft room. And this is probably my 
I don't know, maybe my 15th vision board because it changes all the time. I don't mean yeah. what's on it. I mean just the the format of it. Sometimes I do different things. But if you can see on here, there's two things that haven't come to fruition for me. One of them is this one here. <clears throat> I own some property in Mexico and we have yet to sell it. Mm -hmm. And um, if you can see, let's see, I don't know how much you can see that, but it says, where am I? I can't see my camera. It says sold because mm -hmm. that's what I want to happen to that property. I want it mm -hmm. to sell. Um, the other thing is this one. This is a doozy, the lottery. <laughs> but oh, if you my can gosh. See, I have a check. Oh, I have a check made out to my name from the lottery for $140 million because that's how much I'm going to win. <laughs> and and it, that's the one that hasn't come true yet, but it will. But travel has, I have to update because travel happened. And this one is my laundromat. I wanted it to sell and it sold. Oh, so, my gosh. That's amazing. So, so those Hello are just to all the friends who just came. Thank you for hanging out. Hi, everyone. Sorry, I'm not addressing you by name. Christian can do that really good. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thanks for being here. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about <clears throat> vision boards. <clears throat> what exactly is a vision board? A vision board is a place where you put things Hi, that Barbara. you... To, excuse me, things that you want to attract into your lifetime. Um, it's a physical, physical representation of your biggest um, dreams and your aspirations and your goals. That's what a vision board is. It's a big biggest dream, big dream. I can repeat that again. A vision board is a physical, vi uh, visual representation of your biggest dreams, aspirations, and goals. That's what it basically is. It's also, um, and when I when I say that, I'm talking about your career, your relationships, self-love, adventure, education, finances, experiences, health, spirit, spirituality. All of that can be parts of a vision board. And it's a constant affirmation on how or what you want in your life for your future. Those are the components that make a vision board. It lets you dream with a purpose because normally we just daydream and we don't, we don't have a purpose. We just say, Oh God, it would be so nice to live on a beach one day, or it would be this, or it would be that. And really it's, it's more than that. <laughs> so let me show you some examples of some vision boards. Now, the traditional vision board is like the one I showed you of mine. It's a board where you put up somewhere that you're going to see every single day. And I will talk about how to use it once I talk about making one. Um, first of all, you can use a big poster board. This is, happens to be a foam core board. So I have um, push pins that I can push into this because it's foam core. But if you want to change your vision board often, I suggest washi tape, not, not push pins. Just saying. Um, the other thing is that it can be different for everyone. You may not want the border. You may want to do artwork. You might want to do whatever moves you, whatever makes your heart sing and makes you happy. That's what you want your board to represent. What mm -hmm. goes on the board? I will tell you that as soon as I get into how to, how to use the board, but you can decorate it any way you want. It's no right, wrong. It can be bare if you want it to. Um, for people that are on the go that want to take it with them, they you can make a traveling vision board. Here's a small one I made just to give you an idea. This is nothing but index cards put together and things that you want to see and take with you so that you can practice it wherever you're going. doesn't necessarily have to be in your home. Um, another version would be this version, which is maybe for your office at work. It's an accordion folder. And basically, oh. you, you have your little affirmations and things sitting in front of you so that you can do the lesson that you need to do to make this come to fruition. So that's another option you have there. For those of you who, I have another one I'm going to share in just a moment, but for those of you who might be living, let's say you live in an apartment, right? And you can't put anything on the wall and you, you, know, you don't want to mark the wall and stuff. How about here? I'm trying to get it in order. It kind of moved since I moved my stuff. Hold on a moment. 
Here we go. What about a clothesline? Oh, yeah, that's cute. I did a mini one just to show you, but you would want to use, you know, you could do full size. Um, you could clip them yeah. on as you want to change them. And you don't have to mark anything. That's just a really simple way yeah. of having a vision yeah. board. And then, and then there's another style. And this is also, well, I, I want to get to that one last. I'm going to show you this one next. I made a mini, a mini one for you. Um, I just wanted you to be able to see it in screen, so I had to make it smaller. <laughs> um, but I put my... Parcel nine, that's my lot in Mexico. I just wanted you to see that it is, it does say sold on it. Um, this is something else I want to bring into fruition is to have an, an amazing, amazing wedding day. Mm -hmm. And this isn't all mine. I mean, this is just some ideas of things that I wanted to have on here just to kind of show you what a board can look like. Mm -hmm. It also could be drawings. It could be words. It doesn't have to have pictures. It doesn't have to have anything but what, you want it to have it's your board you do you you do it the way you want it and remember it's something you need to see constantly do you put do you put a timeline there for example because i was looking at vision boards for this live and some of the vision boards have dates like years on them like 2020 something so i was thinking what is a good range like is this going to be is this going to be like for the next three years? Is it going to be like for the next five? What is so, what is the standard? Okay, for mine, I don't approach, I don't approach it with a date because the universe brings it to you when you're ready for it. Mm, okay. Um, people always think, oh, I'm going to start. It's a new year. I'm going to do a vision board for the new year. But those are the people that do it just because they they think it's a cool thing, you know, to do a vision board. They don't even understand why they're doing it. Right. Um, but, but for me, I just leave it on there because, for example, my fiancé, William, he's been on my vision board since I can remember, as long as time. And all it said was find William. Um, and I've had that on there for years and years and years. And I didn't meet him until I met him. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it, it does happen. It does come. But when it's when the universe is ready to give it to you and when you're ready to receive it, that's when you get it. So dates oh my God. don't seem to work. Dates, okay. Yeah. I'm to glad because I've never I've never done a date one. I've done a vision board, but never um I've never done dates. Right. I feel like too much pressure. Right. But I and just so saw it. I thought you, you would you would know the answer. And you do. Well that's just my that's just what I think. I don't think a date you don't you can't put a time limit like I think the lottery's been on my board for ever, <laughs> but I'm going to get it one day. It's coming. It is coming to me. I know it. And I just yeah. have to be patient and wait for it. It'll get here. And then yeah. you pray for it too. Well, I don't ever pray for uh, monetary Money. or physical things because you're not supposed to pray for those. Um, that's what you put out into the universe. Your uh, prayers are your, your prayers are your gratefulness, your thankfulness, that type of thing, not for the wants, unless it's praying for someone to you know recover from recover. health, that kind of thing. But not oh, for, that's a good one. Yeah, Money. not for not for stuff. You never pray for stuff because that won't come. Um, that's a good idea. Anyway, so this is another version for those people who like to travel. Mm -hmm. I did. That one. This is a composition notebook. It's just a small composition notebook that I had. Mm -hmm. I put tabs on top here. And <laughs> this is weekly quotes, gratitude, and vision. And I will explain as I go through this. Um, the first category we have is vision. So all things begin with a vision. Mm -hmm. And it's blank because um, I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to have a a giveaway of this book. I'll mail it to somebody. Um, nice. we, can figure out, we can figure out how to do that. So I didn't want to fill it with too much stuff that wasn't about me. So in the first part, you have your vision board section. Your next part, you have your gratitude. And this is for all the things that you're grateful for. Um, I try to do this regularly on a, you know, like every few days or whatever, once a month, however you do it, just be consistent that you keep a list of all the things you're grateful for. This one is quotes, and you know how y'all, I love quotes. I don't know about you all, but I do. So um, I like to keep them written down somewhere instead of all over the place. Gina, what's then, the first tab again? 
Vision. Oh, the vision. Vision is the first tab. Vision, grateful for, quotes. Gratitude, quotes, and weekly. So um, the, vis the, week the weekly aspect of this is basically for you to um, set weekly goals for yourself and kind of keep tabs of them here. You can or not. It, that has nothing to do with vision board, but those are all components that are really good to encompass into your life. You know, they're just good to have. So anyway, I have this little book and we'll figure that out later how we're going to do that. Um, <clears throat> the next thing I want to go over is about a vision board and how it works and how you have to make it work for you because it doesn't do it by itself. It takes you to help it out. <laughs> so I'm going to pull this one closer again, just so we can kind of, God, I got stuff all over the place, just so we can kind of um, focus on this for a minute. Mm -hmm. So these, these are things when you're, when you're considering gathering things to put on your vision board, don't just mm -hmm. pick out a picture of a magazine and say, Oh, this is pretty. I'm going to put it on my vision board. Cause that has no meaning. <laughs> it has uh -huh. no love attached to it. So pick out something intentional. Be intentional with what goes on here. Think mm -hmm. about it before you put it on there. You can go to your laptop and type words. If it's all you want to do is put some positive words on there, you could do that. So um, just kind of keep in mind that to be mindful of what goes on here. Don't just slap things just because, because then it's not working that way. Um, right. The other thing you might want to do, and I have this on Pinterest, I have a folder entitled vision board and anything I find on Pinterest that is of interest to me, I just drop it in there so that if I ever want to print it out, I know where it is. Um, so you might want to do that as well. Mm -hmm. um, magazines are a good source of photographs. You might have photographs, actual photographs that you want up there. Um, you mm -hmm. might want to have, um, gosh, I don't know. There's just a, a plethora of stuff out there you can use to put on your vision board. So now let's pretend this vision board is on my wall in, in the place I'm going to see it every day, or you have your traveler, your traveler version with you or whatever it is once a day. And for one minute, no longer, you need to stop and take a look at one thing on your board. It doesn't have to be every part of it, just one. Mm -hmm. So I would take, for example, this one right here, my parcel nine. What I do when I look at this picture is I do in my mind several things. I close my eyes and then I start to envision that I'm standing somewhere on parcel nine, mm -hmm. shaking the hand of the new owner and saying, congratulations, you're going to love this place. It's amazing. Um, I'm so happy you bought it and feel those feelings that you feel the moment that something like that will happen. Oh, you have wow. to you have to experience the feeling behind it, not just look at the picture. You want to mm -hmm. make sure that you put on here sold because that's your intention is to have it get sold, right? Yeah. So that's kind of how this works. So I would suggest every day. Pick a time of day. Maybe it's when you come out of the shower or maybe it's when you're, I don't know, sitting at your desk having coffee or whatever time of day it is. But try to be consistent with mm -hmm. the time that you do it so that you don't forget to do it. This kind of helps you to get in training, you know, to do it Mind. because it does it does take a minute of your day. Wow. <laughs> and and for me, a minute of my day is well worth what I want. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. so then the next day you come back and you say, oh, okay. Or maybe later that day, maybe you want to do it twice a day. Who cares? It's up to you. It's your board. You do you. Right. Um, but I come back and I look at this and I, it says an amazing wedding day. And I close my eyes and I can see myself at my wedding. I can see all the happy people around me, the people that love me. I mm -hmm. can see, I can see the decorations and I can see. I can see my fiance and I can see what I'm wearing and I can see all of that. And the feeling I get is so intensely happy that my spirit just feels so intensely happy that I know that those energies are going out in the universe and they're going to come back to me because that's what it hap That's what happens. That's what's going to happen because you're like practicing, right? You're like practicing for the, for the event. 
you're practicing, you're, you're, you're experiencing it. Um, when I have envisioned my lottery win, because <laughs> I am going to win, but, and that's the other thing you always have to say, I am going to sell this property. I am going to win. I am going to get this. I am, I am. That's the positivity. And when I look at my lottery ticket on the board and the check that's for 140 million, I look at that and I imagine standing at that lottery office with the people with the ginormous check handing it to me saying, congratulations, Gina, you're our newest, you know, mega winner and, and handing me my 140 million. million. Yep. And, and it makes my, it makes me get so excited that I, you know, it's almost so real because I'm, I'm daydreaming it. I'm envisioning it. I'm making it. I'm putting it out in the universe so the universe knows that's what I want. That's my happiness. That's what I want to get. And that's the point of a vision board. And that's basically all there is to it. Wow. So I, I encourage you all to really think about what's going on your board. Do you want good health? Do you want, um, do you want to feel happy all the time? Put the word happy on there and and then close your eyes and imagine what it feels like to be one of those people. Like, have you seen there's this girl? I don't know her name, but she's she's a Hispanic girl on uh, YouTube. She sells mm -hmm. a lot of products. And that girl's always smiling. She looks like sunshine all the time. And I think to myself, gosh, what it would be like to be happy like that all the time, you know? Um, and, and those are the kind of things you want to envision in your head. So... I hope that helps you and gives you guys an idea of what you want to do, how you how you want to work on your board. And of course, you know, if you guys have any questions for me down the line or if you want to know something or whatever, please just ask me. Um, Christian's also going to post a link um, below this video when it's done. I have made a, a traveling one before and it goes into a little more detail. So that video will be linked down below. I think I did it like six years ago. So that will be there as well for you. But please, whatever you do, just take the time to watch The Secret. I mean, you're not doing anything anyway. Just watch it. <laughs> it's it's really informative. And yeah, it helps, I think so too. It, it, helps to, um, <clears throat> it helps to hear all the people that are on there talk about how things have positively affected their life. And it's just a really good watch. So I hope yeah, I used to watch I used to watch that movie when I feel like I I'm not I don't feel like going to work. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot of times. Let me yeah. tell you. <laughs> a lot of times and I would always watch it and it would bring me to it would bring me to a mindset of gratefulness. For some reason, it just brings me to remember listen uh, you remember christian it was like my conscience talking to me every time i watched that movie my mm -hmm. conscience would tell me listen i remember you two in the morning february 2006 you're talking to god you're talking to jesus and you're saying jesus give me a nursing job please give me a nursing job right and they gave it to you and seriously and it, it snaps me back really quick it snaps yeah. me back i'm grateful i'm grateful <laughs> yeah no, it, and, and it definitely, really helps. definitely that's part of um that's part of you know that and and that's why in that little book that i'm giving away i decided to um make it have uh, gratitude in there because that's also very much a part of all of this being grateful and if you remember the picture i shared um what the hell did i do with it this one uh, the picture I shared of my current vision board. I don't know if I'm on camera. I can't see crap. Um, anyway, I don't have much on there because I'm not in want of anything at this moment. I'm my life is good and I'm happy, you know. Yeah. And 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 that happens as well, where you get to a point where there's not a whole lot going on, but that's okay because that means everything in your world is right at that moment, you know. <laughs> yeah, everything you visualized. Mm -hmm. So, so try to just keep all those little pointers in mind when you're pulling together your vision board. And I'm, I'm sure I can't guarantee because I, I don't come with guarantees, but I can tell you that for me, I've had a vision board for over 40 years. And I can only tell you there's only two things that <laughs> haven't come through and it's parcel nine and the lottery, <laughs> two things that haven't come true. And they are coming. It's just not yet because it's not time yet. Wow. 
I don't know. I don't know if you read this one right here. This is really cool. This one right here. I found this on um, Pinterest. But it oh, what says, does it dear, say? "Dear Universe, I am ready to tap into all the abundance that you have for me. I am placing my order, surrendering, and ready to live into the sweetness of my life." Oh wow, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's a good. It's a good thing for you to put out there in the universe. Um, <clears throat> that's why I just really want to, you know, impress on you how important it is to not just make the board, but practice with it and practice your perception of life. The way you, th you, you see things, don't let the negative Nellies or the, mm -hmm. the bad things come into your life because it will destroy you faster than it will make you, um, <clears throat> You have to learn how to get past a lot of that kind of stuff. And it's not easy. Sometimes you want to wring somebody's neck, but mm -hmm. you know, for the most part, you have to try to push all that negativity away so that all the good stuff can fill in the gaps that come to you. Right. <clears throat> and it's very difficult to survive in prison. So <laughs> there's no crafting in prison. Remember, <laughs> <You're funny. laughs> <clears throat> I'm just saying like behave, everybody behave. Because you're not a typical person who's going to, you have a specific drink palette. <laughs> you have, you know, you have your hobbies to think about. So focus on doing good, avoiding jail at all cost. <clears throat> right, right. Most definitely. And, and this doesn't cost anything. And it's quite fun. It's crafty. You know, it's kind of a crafty thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, when you're placing stuff on your board kind of keep what you're placing on there in your mind like you would if you were taking your minute. Just kind of keep it in mind when you're laying it down so that it can, <clears throat> you know, meld into your board. Just kind of um, be intentional. That's the only word I can think of. Just be intentional. Uh, I'm going to do magnets. Oh, that's good. That's a cute idea. So I could... <clears throat> I could like, <clears throat> you know, like the everyday thing mm -hmm. you said. So I'm going to, I'm going to hold on to it and imagine me attaining it. Yes. <clears throat> and then putting it back. Most definitely. And like I said, just keep, you know, if you want to do it three minutes, if you can sacrifice three minutes of your day, then focus on three different things that day. You know, it's all depends on how much time you want to get it, give it, but don't do any longer than a minute. It really is not necessary. Um, you can feel those feels within 30 seconds if you really want to. So <coughs> and it just, just do it. Just make it a, a routine. Like you brush your teeth every day, make this a routine every day. Wow. 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 This is yeah. so much fun. Are you going to be creating your own vision board, Gina? Or or you already have it? Well, <clears> you're have not going to change any? No, I might, add, I might add my wedding to this one because I did just put it here on the little one. Mm -hmm. I didn't put it on my big one yet. And oh, I need yeah. to take off the laundromat because the laundromat already sold. <clears throat> yep. Um, there's my favorite word on there, bliss. I just have it there because that's my favorite word. My word. My mom says it's believe, but I say bliss. <laughs> um, just change out just that because that's all that really is different. And I don't really have a need or want of anything in my life right at this moment. Everything's kind of good. Yep. And then you can decorate it however you want. Make it really, really pleasant and palatable mm -hmm. to to your taste. Like if you love color, put color in there. If you exactly. like flowers, put flowers. Anything that you feel is going to brighten your day <clears throat> and something that's really, really like amazing to look at. If you like to see butterflies, put a boatload of butterflies. That's right. going to make you happy. You know, My daughter, um, years back, years, I'm talking <laughs> years back, um, she always asks me about my vision board all the time. You know, she's seen it since she was four years old. I've had one, <laughs> you know, so she's, She's used to seeing them. Um, and she said to me one day, I want to do a vision board. And I'm like, okay, well, this is what you need to do. This is how you do it. Basically what I told you guys today. And she did one. And hers was unfortunately very materialistic at that time of her life. <laughs> um, but she she had a brand new car on there. And she had um, 
a house and she had her then uh, husband was um, loved motorcycles and he wanted a motorcycle. So they had that on, they shared the vision board. So that's what was on her vision board at that time. And she might've had a word or two of something, but mostly it was materialistic. Do you know that within, I would say a year's time, she had all of those three things. No way. She did. Wow. In less than Within one a year. year. So you put Within all of your energy, you just put all your energy, put all of your energy into it and it's going to materialize. It will. And, and you know, and, and, and don't be disappointed if it doesn't, don't get mad at your vision board and have, you know, cuss at it. Cause that's not going to happen. <laughs> just, just practice with it every day and let come what comes. Don't expect, don't, just think positive that you're going to get it. Just like me, I'm going to win the lottery. I am going to win that lottery. And anytime I talk to anybody about it, I always say I'm going to win the lottery because I am. And that's the only part you need to keep about Believe your board. Don't, don't ever get mad at it if something doesn't come your way. It just means the universe isn't ready to give it to you and or you're not ready to receive it. <clears throat> That's that's very, very true. Hi, Christian. Hi, Rocky. Hi, everyone who just got in. I want to say hi to all the friends who is here. Welcome, welcome. I think they're welcoming Jacqueline Smith. She was channel surfing and she's here with us. Welcome. It is a fun welcome. group. Hi, Rocky. Hello, hello. Hi, Cheryl. I don't think I was able to say hi to some of the friends. Stace is here also. Eve is here also. Um, the I gang's all here. Everyone. Hello, the gang is here. Yay, yay, yay. Um, <clears throat> having goals, visions are positive and will help make things happen. I also feel that if God doesn't want me to win the lottery and knows it is not good for me, it will not happen. So it's okay for me. Yes, I agree. And I, I am a believer. I'm, I'm Catholic. I was raised Catholic. And I believe that everything that we receive is given to us. Um, by the Lord. We're the pink ladies. What is the pink ladies? Is that like the pink ladies who wait, there's a there's a group of pink ladies, right? You're that welcome, was... Gracie. Sorry. <laughs> Gina, this was very inspiring. Thanks. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. Thank you, thank you. The gang is all here. Thank you so much. Um, what about you guys? What are you gonna be putting? I'm gonna put definitely I'm gonna put Sweden. On my vision board. <clears throat> it could be like a bucket list thing too, right? Like something you, it, really, you really, really want, want before it, you die. Yeah, if you really want it, yes. <clears throat> um, like, like this I one, do I have financial, financial freedom on here. Another good thing. Uh, waking up happy. That's another yeah. good thing. So yeah, waking these, up happy is awesome. They're, they're just little things. They don't always have to be great things. See, this is what mine says. I have, I have everything I need to be happy right now. Wow. And that's, that's kind of how I feel right now. That's phenomenal. Doesn't mean I don't want to win the lottery because I'm going to win the lottery. <laughs> that's right. You just haven't. It hasn't come to me yet. It will. It's going and to happen, Gina. I hope you win the lottery. I'm going to put Sweden on here. And then, if I've already gone to Sweden, I'm going to change. I'm going to change well, where it's going to go next. Exactly. Can you do that? You can there. update it. Um, Bora, on, top of that, on top of that Sweden picture, put went. Put what? Remember it's put went. The word went. Went to Welcome. Sweden. Yep, because that's where you that's what you have to envision that you already went there. Yeah. It's past tense kind of sort of. Went to Sweden. <clears throat> went to Sweden. Got it, got it, got it. Like you're already doing it. Gina, I exactly. know you mentioned you want to win the lottery. How often do you play daily? And for I how buy long? I buy tickets. Um I buy tickets in advance, uh advance play. I think you can buy 10 weeks in advance. So I do that every time. I don't buy more than one game per game because I think if I'm going to win, I'm going to win with one set of numbers, not 10. Um, 
and that's just me. So that's how I do it. Because I just have to drive 20 minutes to be in California and I could buy tickets there. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the question. I love it. Love it. Love it. Carrie says, I love your attitude, Gina. Eve says, Sandra, you know, you know, you want to be a pink lady. <laughs> Cheryl says, I'm going to make a board as it is good to be reminded of positive things. I like adding bucket list items to the list. Yes, that's a great idea. That's what I was going to do. And hi, Carrie. How are you? Thanks for being here. Gina, since hi, you're in Vegas, would winning jackpot on slot, would, would that suffice? She's asking if... If you uh, I'm specifically, I no, I'm specifically asking for the lottery. That's specific. I'm being very specific. It's not a general blanket question. Everything you put on here is specific. I want to go. And no, I don't want to go to Sweden. I already went to Sweden. I want to go to Switzerland. Right. And I did that. win some money at a casino one time on a slot machine, and it was quite a lot, but it wasn't enough to. It wasn't enough to make me retire. It was twenty thousand dollars, but it wasn't enough to make me retire. Wow, <laughs> so that's a lot. It was. It was very, very shocking. Believe me. Twenty grand is a lot of money. It was. Well, after taxes, which they took right on the floor, um, they took seven thousand right out <laughs> at the top. <laughs> Wow, you got. But it's 13. okay because the rest of it, I you know, I wouldn't have had the rest of it if I hadn't, you know. So I was okay with it. Oh, I want to publish my book. I'm gonna put my book here. Went to so it's, it's gonna be past tense. So I'm gonna do went to Switzerland. Exactly. How it um, Sandra, yes, I do. Boo, I picked my own numbers. They sure do, Jacqueline. They bite you big. <laughs> 7,000 big ones. Seven grand. That's a lot Plus of like money. 20, it's 28% it's of what your winning is. 28% is what they do. It's crazy. Switzerland. <clears throat> um, so what I decided how we could do this little giveaway if any is interested in having this like I said there's nothing really it's just paper but it's already ready for you to use um just leave a comment on the video afterward and we'll Christian will pick a name I should yep. somehow pick a name and we'll yep. and I'll mail this out to somebody leave a comment after the live is done yeah it has to be after the live is done video. Yeah. <laughs> exactly on the video not in the chat yep agreed so agreed that's that's how I'll do it because I don't know how I don't want to do the number thing. We'd go nuts. That would be crazy. Go to Switzerland. Where else do I want to go? I I want to go to. I want to go to. Bex, I want to go to Auschwitz. I, yeah, that would be nice. Went Bex, to don't Auschwitz. don't worry, Bex. You can you can change that around just by changing your visions and your ideas because you can't be negative to get what's on your vision board it has to be positive so take baby steps learn how to do this and then start to apply it to your life little by little it'll it'll get easier the more you do it you'll catch yourself gonna say i can't oops never mind i i'm gonna give it a try <laughs> you know so just just try <clears throat> yes you got this it it's just it's starting. The hard part is starting. And then once you keep on doing it, once you keep on doing it, like I wasn't this positive, but I attended like a Stephen Covey, um, Stephen Covey, and that really helped me. And then all these workshops, <clears throat> but you have to want to do it. And wanting is, it's a good start, Bex. <clears throat> Went to Auschwitz concentration camp. I yeah, and, that, and that's just the whole thing. That's right, um, Boo. You just have to change your vocabulary and try to include the positive words, not the negative ones. And that seems to be, and they discuss that, I think, on The Secret. When you when you watch it, the link will be under underneath the video when we're done. Mm -hmm. But like I said, please take the time to watch it. I have it on um, CD and I have it on DVD and I have it a book. I have the book. I have all of it. Um, because that's how important this topic is to me and what I what I believe 
about this whole energy and universe and vision boards and all of that. And I believe in the book, in the movie, they even, um, I think they, don't they address a vision board at some point in there a little bit? I think I recall. I think so. It's been a while since I watched it, but I think they do. I think they show just a little bit about a, a kid. I think he's wanting a bicycle or something, if I recall. Um, and <laughs> yeah, and that's, and so that, all of that is all part of that secret. And, and once you know the secret, you're, you're on the road. Mm -hmm. Hi, Sam. You made it. Okay, we need to build a board together. I need your 50 plus and my 50. <laughs> I'm going to put my refills on here. So as soon as oh, it gets, as soon as it, it happens, um, I'm going to put it in uh, in another one. So like the done pile and the replacement pile. So if anything yep. has happened, I'm going to put it right here just to keep track of. Oh, I remember this was part of my vision board and it's come to fruition just to like a tracker. And then this is the perfect size for that. Yeah, that's a good idea. And that's cute, too. It's a cute way to do it. And that that board came from what Dollar Tree? Yes, this came from this is a dollar twenty five. So I want to put photos. I want to put like, it's going to be a Polaroid. It's going to be a Polaroid. Oh, my book. Publishing my something. 3D book. <clears throat> I have published. So you said it has to be past 10. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Okay. I'm grabbing something. I think. Well, it was. I spilled it on the floor. I wanted to show you this old, this old thing because this is one of my older. Thank you, Roe. This is one of my older boards that I had, and I've torn things. I've torn things off, but you can see some of the things that came that came to fruition right here. Wow, my forever home. That's true. With him. That was. This also came, this also came to be. Wow, that's phenomenal. Romantic forever. Oh my goodness. That um, makes me this, so happy. This was on my board, a job with job. this company, and I, I got that job. You did, huh? And then, and then down here. Found. Find William. Oh my goodness. And that's always that, been, and this is, this is like the board number. I don't know how many I've had so many. Um, and this was when my house in Mexico was, um, I wanted it to sell and it did. It sold. That's done. Wow. So that's talking about things like that can happen and they can, they can come. You just have to, you just have to be patient and you have to be diligent and you have to be mindful to, to focus on this all the time, yep. not just when it suits you. <laughs> yep. And really feel it. Feel it in your bones. Feel exactly. it in your bones that like I am holding I am holding that wedding ring or I am holding that book in my hand that's getting published. I want to publish my book. You know? Feeling it, feeling the power. I think that's, that's cute, Rowie. <laughs> Rowie said I ought to put my love story to become a, a movie or a book. What'd she say? A movie. That it turns into a movie. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes. <laughs> that would be awesome, Gina. It's a great story. I mean, it's a story. Um, Actually, what's really cute, too, is when we bought our place that we're living at right now. It was a, mm -hmm. a total gut job. We had to remodel the entire place because it was just... Yeah, it needed it. Um, so a lot of the walls were taken down and et cetera, whatever. And there's one wall that's the main wall of the house that it's the supporting wall. You can't take it down. Um, the drywall was off of that um, particular wall. I wrote our story in brief on the oh boards in oh the wall. Gosh, that's amazing. And if anybody ever tears our house apart in the years ahead, They'll find my story in there, mine and William's story. 
Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> Your story's gonna be there forever until <laughs> yeah. the test of time. That's adorable. I love that. Yeah. Too. It's a it's a it's a cute thing to have in my walls. Um, my my ex brother in law did something similar when he built his house because mm -hmm. um, he built a, a from scratch house and he had all his friends and family members send him their favorite Bible verse and they're in the entire walls of his house, all the verses everywhere, and. I have mine in his living room. It's in the walls of his living room. Wow. Wow. He, wow, said, he, wanted, wow. he said he wanted to be surrounded with God's word and, you know, positivity around him. Okay, I'm going to be, I, so it's going to be past tense. I have published my first book. Yep. Now you see how Christian's doing? She's not even using magazine pictures or computer printers. She's just doing her own little decorations on there. And that's all it takes. It doesn't have to be fancy. Like I said, if this is all you can do, then that's what you do. As long as you take the time to focus on this stuff and make it. Yeah, happen. make it your own. Make it your own. It's like designing your own life. How you want it. You just you just shop for it, and then the universe will give it to you. Gina it's number two you. wants me to send my love story to Hallmark. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea! Oh my God, that's gonna be. I wonder what's. I, I think the title of the Hallmark movie would be "William Has Been Found." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. I have to show you this thing. Oh my God. The vision board, yes, they can start with a vision board. I have I have my first book published. I don't know if I showed this the last time or not, but it's part of my wedding album that I'm making. And it's our love story because, you know, you guys got the condensed version on Instagram, but ours is really long. <laughs> it's really long. All these pages, one after the other, is all pulls down and it's all part of our story because there's a lot to it more than what I told y'all because some of it's kind of, you know, on the private Personal. side of things, but it keeps yeah. going. I mean, it's page after page. So Gina, that that's my perfect. Little... That's perfect because the producers and the writers will need that for the movie. <laughs> You're funny. Right, guys? I mean, it's already written down. It saves, it saves the writer to interview Gina. All they need to do is read it, and, and it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be a movie. Exactly, and you know what's funny? If you look at this one, um, this Did was the day I got. In, this was one of the later. days I, uh -huh. I got engaged. Was was October twentieth last year, and if you recall that, I was headed on. Oh my God! Yes, I remember. <laughs> Part of my story. <laughs> so, oh so PHA gosh. might be in in the movie. <laughs> PHA has to be in the movie because we're the first few people, few human, few of the human beings that you first told in the gathering. The gathering will be definitely part of the movie. Oh my gosh. Uh, thank you, Alicia. That's my little one right there, Alicia. Aww. Oh my goodness, Gina. I thought the same when you were telling us a story last Saturday. I thought, oh man, this is real. It is a hallmark. It is a hallmark moment. Like how after so many years, who does that? Facebook. <laughs> well, oh obviously God. it's a lot more common than we think it is, right? Right with the with the thing of advent of Facebook, it just changed for a lot of people because they're able to get in touch again, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Paula, I'm she's making board. a vision board. That was what our topic was about tonight, a vision board. Paula, we're making a vision board. 
And if if you want to make your own, you can make it your own version. I'm just cutting papers and putting my vision. I want to go on a craft cruise. I went on a craft cruise. <laughs> Christian. <laughs> I went to a craft cruise. Alicia, make sure you put this in your board. Remember, we're going to go. Oh, what the heck? Gina, you want to you wanna put in your board so we can go to a craft cruise? I want to go to a craft cruise. Oh, my one in my room? Yeah. I'll put that on so my much fun. What we need to do on our board the uh, PHA Mega Oh, Meetup. PHA Convention. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. I went to a PHA Convention. Oh, my God. Convention. Oh my goodness. Mimi said a cruise with Paige Evans, Christian. Oh, I went on a craft cruise with Paige Evans. Yes, that's the dream. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, and then once, okay, my plan is once I was, I'm able to go to Switzerland, I'm going to put a photo in the back. Take this magnet out and put it put it in the back. That will be fun to like to get an update on. Oh, this is what happened. I'm gonna put the date on when it happened. Oh my gosh. Right. I went. I'm to just flipping through the, the books that I showed and the ideas in case someone just stumbling in, they can kind of see some ideas that we and then they can always rewatch the video too. Yep, vision boards. It's so much fun. It's like you're shopping for dreams. That's what it is, really. It's shopping um, for like, oh, what, what do you want to happen? The universe is like, Christian, what do you want? Tell me what you want and we'll get it for you. And I'm like, really? Yes, honey, yes. And again, when I talk about the vision board, don't only make it be materialistic things. Try to... Think of self-love or think of, um, you know, um, for example, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I mean, that's just something positive to think about, you know. It doesn't necessarily put... have to be something you want to bring to your life. It could, it could just be that you're grateful. Wake up happy. I mean, that's simple. Wake up happy. I'm going to put you know? happiness and contentment because that's what I desire truly. Happiness and contentment because they go together hand in hand. Exactly. Like I don't think I don't think you can be happy without being contented. Oh yeah. <laughs> Rowie's cracking me up. <laughs> what is Rowie saying? Isn't that put how it happens? Salad. Girls put, put the green salad. Salad. Oh my god, no way! I don't think any <laughs> Are you already uh, putting a green salad in their board? I'm not. <laughs> oh, Paula dated her husband's brother before what? she married her husband, the brother. I dated my husband's brother before dating and married my husband. Oh, my God. Was he part of your vision board? Paula? <laughs> She had her vision on the other brother. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, your boyfriend would be like, why is my brother on your vision board, babe? <laughs> it's like, oh, that's not your brother. That's somebody who looks like your brother. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> oh. I've been eating J-Lo salad daily. Oh, Paula said no. Whoever, I feel like whoever's meant for you is meant to happen. I believe that. Like, Jules is my high school classmate. And we're yeah, not really, yeah, we're not really friends. But when it's supposed to happen, that's, that's what, that's who is intended for me. God made it so. I'm supposed to be. Right I'm where you are. Be, I'm supposed to be where I'm at right now. Man, this is so much fun and decorating it. It's just. Fun, fun, fun. And making it yours, like having 
your your stamp having your business in there he haunted me and it was supposed to be supposed to be first date oh my god it's meant to happen hola it is meant to happen you're supposed to marry your husband alicia says rowie what's the jlo salad beverly's asking uh, Rowie, I was going to say I'm going to look like J Lo when she did her performance Super Bowl. Oh my God, you have to put that in your vision board, honey. Honey, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> True, I never wanted to get married or have kids, and when I found God, my faith, He had other plans. Yes, again, and you're, you, it's not always like what you thought. It's gonna be exponential. Like I've never dreamed. You know, my dreams were like very limited. And then when God opened the door for me, oh my God. I like, I just wanted one child and God gave me Nick too. See? You know? Yeah. It's just, sometimes you dream and then God will give you more, 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 more. It's just fantastic. But you have to believe. I believe in the power of prayer too and positive thinking. Oh, most definitely. And that's Both. why I said this, this actually part of it has nothing to do with religion. You still need your religion. I don't care how mm -hmm. you how you get it, whether you worship worship any kind of a God. Mm -hmm. Because actually, I always liken that to the rim of a bike, a, a child's bicycle. There's a lot yep. of spokes on it. Those are all yep. the different paths to God, but the center is always the center. It doesn't matter yep. how you get there, just get there. Yep. And you always be grateful. Always be grateful for what you have. I feel like contentment is always, it's it's a state of my happiness. It's a state of mind. You can choose to be happy with where you are. You know, oh, I want to be like, I want that. Well, how do you, I say happiness and contentment is already here. Positive mindset. I want, I have positive mindset all the time. Is that possible? Yeah. I have. I have. Because you've already achieved it. I have a positive mindset. Positive and that will mindset. Keep you, that will keep you on track every time you close your eyes to visualize every that. Every day. Every it day. Will, it will help you to stay focused on every that day. particular thing. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I want to have a positive mindset every day. I want that dream box. Oh, yes, Paula, put it there. Put it there. Get a dream box. Rowe says yep. kale, pumpkin seeds, olive oil, lemon, scallions, crumbled cheese. That's the salad. Oh, my God, kale. Kale, pumpkin seeds. That's intense. He oh, that's so, so cute, does. Paula. That always gives above and he does give above and beyond like more than you've imagined i'm i am a true test to that i just wanted a house but god gave me a house with five bedrooms and never in my wildest dreams did i dream that never never dreamt of a house with a pool because that's too much that's too much but god gave me a house with a pool i know it's very common but in the philippines i've never you know i'm coming from like a third world country Never have I ever allowed myself to dream that much. But God gave me more than what I what I dreamt of. It's just phenomenal. This is too big. The butterfly is so cute, but yet too big. I love this collection. It's so perfect. Dang, Rowie. <laughs> she we went from wanting, wanting no children to nine children. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. I went from wanting no children to wanting nine kids. My hubby said, okay, but I'm only supporting two. <laughs> <laughs> so only two are going to get fed tonight. So alternate. Did you get fed yesterday? Nope. Okay, you get fed today. <laughs> That's, That's funny. funny. <laughs> oh. Oh, so if you guys have any questions or anything, just let us know in the comments. I'm trying to read. A little bit better this please time let than last Gina, time. Please let Gina, please let Gina know us every day. Because I'm a participant in class. Gina's a teacher. Huh. I just have a little, a little experience with my board. They've been very good to me. The boards are so effective. 
I love having the board. Oh my god, I love I love this collection. I'm just saying. <laughs> Paula says, you guys spread so much positivity. Thank you. Positive cheer. Yes, Jessica, you can. Um on my Instagram, do you have my Instagram? It's scrapanology, same as here. Um I update my vision board anytime I feel I need something to happen in my life. life. Um, as I was saying earlier, I'm pretty content where I'm at right now. I have two items, really three on my board, my real board at the moment that mm -hmm. are going to be there. It's the parcel nine, the lottery and my wedding day. Um, but you change it as those things either happen, mm -hmm. come to fruition, or you change mm -hmm. it when you want to add something else. Maybe you're, maybe today you want, I don't know, you want a Ferrari and tomorrow you might want a Volkswagen, Porsche. you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just change it according to whatever your needs are. It goes like that kind of. I have lost. Ah, little one. That's cute. Ah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was this the one looks thing my so good. It does. That was the one thing my mama told me. Um not very few days before she passed away, actually. Um, and she also told me this when William called when I lived in Idaho asking me to move to uh Reno. Um he he also asked my mom, he got on Skype with her and asked her, and he, and she said, I want to do whatever makes my daughter happy. And that's wow. how parents are. They always want your, you know, your their children to be happy. Definitely, definitely. And I think I remember her telling William that she wanted him to be good to me. And that's all that would matter even after she was gone, as long as he stayed good to me. That's and what she wants. That's what she wanted. So he has a big, a big plate to fill. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, Roy, that was really special. That was one of the special, special things. She's referring to this, if any of you haven't seen it. Mama found that and asked. Let's see, I don't know if I'm in camera. Sorry. I can't see where I'm at here. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's, that's the one. That's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mama, Mama got that. Ooh. What? He was nominated. I am nominated for a Daisy Award. That's phenomenal. That's like a an award for internal em employees for Kaiser. Oh, if you want awesome. a Daisy Award, you were, you know, like you are on top of your game as somebody who works for Kaiser. I joined Three Craft Chicks Monthly Box. I have wanted to do that for about a year. That's amazing. That's a dream come true. Do you know one of my favorite parts is what William gave you, the rose that your mom gave? Yes. Romy said, Gina, one of my favorite parts is that William gave you the rose that your mom gave. I'm not crying. You are. <laughs> A Daisy Award is created to honor and recognize nurses who provide extraordinary care to patients every day. Congratulations. I mean, just being a nominee is already an amazing, amazing you know, you're already recognized by your peers. That's I know that's amazing. like a great a great thing when your employees recognize you. Yeah. Or your, your peers or recognize you. Yeah. Absolutely. Really crazy. Yours is coming out so cute. It looks so so you. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so me. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna put hashtag crafty life, I think. That would be. That would be still an actual hashtag crafty life. I'm just trying to find this small hashtag craft. Yeah, I think now and then after the fun part, then comes the the work part. You have to do working your, on your it one, part. Your one minute a day visual, you know. And I mean, come on, you guys, one minute uh, out of your day is nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. You got it. 
You got this. Oh, yeah. I think that would be amazing. And then I'm going to put my flowers. Hashtag craft life. And it's so, it's so much fun to look at all of the beautiful nests and the dreams. You have to make it work for you. Like if you don't like brown, don't put brown. You know, if you like, if you like purple, put all the purples. If you like pink, put all the pinks. It is an honor to be nominated and be recognized. That's a big deal, Pebbles. Congratulations. That's all the hard work that you've done. And the Most care definitely. that you've given to your patients and people, especially like your peers. It, it's, a, it's a recognition by your peers, which is a big deal, you know. It's an amazing opportunity. Let us know. Let us know the result. I hope you win, friend. I hope you win. That's so awesome, Rowan. Jesus, every day, every morning. And you guys can drink your coffee while looking at the boards. Oh, that is so sweet. Me and my best friend, Arlene, we always, when there's a difficult situation, and we've been best friends since 2000 in the Philippines, back in the Philippines. And she's like, I need to talk to Jesus today. It's like, okay, I just spoke. I would be like, I just spoke to him last night. He's waiting for you. <laughs> and it's always like Hi, that. Like, like if we're, we're, you know, it's troubling times. It's mm -hmm. like, it's time. It's time for that. It's time for that best friend conversation, you know. Yes, he is, yeah, he is my best friend. He knows me in and out. I'm not pr I'm not trying to be preachy, but that's what I do when th things get difficult is I know I have a team behind me to help me. You have to believe it's something that's more important than you somehow. Debbie just yeah. joined us. Hi Deb. Hey Deb, what's up? What's happening? How are you, honey? <sighs> just they speak like Jesus is a must. That's right. It is a must. You have to see what Debbie gave me for a wedding present. Oh my gosh, she gave you already? Yes, because I'm I it's something I need for the wedding. That's and amazing. I don't know if it'll let me see if I could show you. I doubt it. It's big. She did for me three things that I need. And it involves damn cricket and vinyl, which I've learned is not easy. <laughs> right, Debbie? Oh, it's not no. easy. And um, I needed a couple of signages, so she agreed and made them for me. And this is one of them. Let's see if I'll oh, show Oh, wow, that's so you. pretty. Um, this is going on where they put our, you know, the cards for our wedding. I have a little crate because I'm doing like rustic. So this will be on the crate where, where the cards go. Mm -hmm. And then she made, um, we're having instead of just a wedding cake, we're going to just do the top tier cake for William and I. And then for the rest of everybody, we're doing a dessert bar because, you know, not everybody eats wedding cake and it's so expensive yep, um, agreed. To, to, to get one and no one eats it. So anyway, she made this for me as well. This she did with a, what is this called, Debbie? Sublimation? I don't know what the hell this is called. A heat. It's something with heat. <laughs> this one. And it reads desserts. And it's going to hang over the dessert table area. So she did that. That's and amazing. Then, and then the biggest one, and I don't know how well it'll show, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. Um, hold on. I'm getting it. She. Um, so I want to put... Uh, this board up to tell people to share their photographs that they take that day with us because you know, your photographer can't get everything and people take good photos these days. So this is the sign we came up with and it's big. So I got to stand up. Hold on a minute. All right. I'll have Take to let you do it in seconds. I don't know how much you could see. It says, Oh, you can't see it and I can't fix it. Let's see. Maybe if I go this way, it says, Oh snap. 
and then it has the camera. Mm -hmm. Oh, right cute. There. And then it says, please, well, you can't see it all, but please help us capture the love, upload your photos here. And then I'm going to have a QR code at the bottom that they can scan with their phone so they could load our all the pictures they take and share them with us. So thank you so much, Debbie. I love this. William loves this. And we're so proud to share it at our wedding. We can't wait. That is so sweet, Deb. Thank you so much. What a beautiful friendship. Very much. Amazing. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be so much fun just having people share their photographs and and all of that. So, like I said, we've been busy working on wedding stuff, and it's coming along. It's just uh. We're at the part where you you kind of have to stop and wait for it to get closer for more things to happen. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. but, um, but I got my dress already and um yeah, everything's pretty much on board. We're we've got 85 days to go. I'm counting. Oh my gosh. Count yep. down. I love it. Yeah, it's so gonna exciting. be the love story. It's the next chapter of your love story, my friend. Yeah, it'll be really nice. We're, I'm really happy just to see family and friends and spend time with my daughter. She's coming a week, you know, before the wedding, a week. Mm -hmm, so she can mm -hmm. be there all week with me and help, you know, do whatever. Um, yeah, so it's going to be, it's going to be really nice. I can't, I'm, I'm so looking forward to it. I'm so excited for you, my friend. Thank this you. is the thank this you, is the you. ultimate party. This is the ultimate party that you're gonna host. Most definitely. Is that flower working up here or no? You're funny, Debbie. She said now I reminded her why she doesn't like to work with vinyl. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. It took her it took her a while. Rowie, uh, like get down on it. <laughs> Get my disco on, <laughs> probably. Get your disco on. That's right. We want to see some dancing shoes. Uh, uh, I'll see what I can do about that. We have we have to practice. We haven't done that in a long time. I mean, we do it sometimes here in the house. We dance, you know, just to just to dance. We do that here in the in the dining room. Mm -hmm. um, How beautiful! But it'll be nice to to do it, you know. And share with friends. Yeah. Yep. Most that definitely. was your jam. That was your jam. That's where you met the dancing. That's where you you had your first courtship. Is the is the dance floor, isn't it? No, Deb. I'm not practicing. It's just going to be what it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even make. I can't make guarantee. I'll make it through an entire song. <laughs> <laughs> you realize how physical that dance is until you do it. It requires all the muscles. Yes, it does, most definitely. But it'll be fun. It'll be cool to see, you know, and just just to share the day with the people that you love. That's the best part of it, mm -hmm. you know. We did find a, a an efficient for the wedding. That's also a good thing because man, that was tough work. Really finding an efficient. Mm -hmm, cuz everybody's booked or not available because of leaving town or whatever and i thought you know reno's only so big you know we you could get anywhere in reno in 20 minutes it's nothing's far away so that means our population isn't all that much either and i was running out of numbers to call and finally one of william's co uh, friends said his coworker did that she's a nurse and she did that for um people and so he asked her if she was available for us, and she said yes. So, yay. oh my god, yay! Yep. That's so huge. That's Getting that—that's a big deal. <laughs> that's taken yeah. off of your. Yeah, we oh thought about that, Deb. But the problem is, is that we wanted kind of someone that had a little experience with it, so they they don't make a flubbed <laughs> flubbed wedding. <laughs> <laughs> My sister got married Friday and went to the courthouse. She did it so nice. It was a real wedding. It takes 20 uh, minutes. That's sweet. Yeah, it's 20 minutes online. It costs $80. Man, if any of you want a job, that's the job to get. 
It costs eighty dollars to become an efficient uh, for a wedding, and it takes twenty minutes to fill out the application. And then you could offer your services at weddings, and they and I'm telling you, in my area, they charge four hundred dollars to do your wedding. I want to do that. I want to be that for 20, person. You know, for twenty minutes of your time, you know, do four four hundred dollars. Heck yeah! Yeah, thank you, thank you, everyone. My board is done, and I oh, made that the good, Christian. I made the title. It's so me, isn't it? It's all the blues and the pinks and the bright colors. Yep, and the fruit. And the fruit, of course. I love the fruit and the flowers and the camera and the travel. Oh my gosh. Happiness and contentment. I love it. I love this vision board, Gina. Well, I hope that you can um, take it to the next step because that's the important part. <laughs> Working what, on Roy? it every day. Rose. Screaming me. Why are you screaming me, Rowie? Thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, Fritchie. Thank you, Bex. Thank you, everyone, for, for the beautiful words. I love your board. It's making me happy. Yay, thank you. So it's just a simple idea. You don't have to. I got this from the Dollar Tree. And these are just, as, as you've seen, it's just pieces of paper and scraps. If you're interested, I think this is a two by three. Is it two by three? If you want to make the same. So two by, this is two inches by two and a half. And then this is one and a half by one and a half. And these are just stickers. I had just hand wrote it. I thought I was going to print it, but I realized, you know what? I'm not going to print it. That's going to be too hard. So it's yeah. just, it's just, and then these are magnetized. So they can yeah. be removed and you can like, if you, this is what you're feeling every day, this is what I'm envisioning. This is what I'm envisioning today. I have my book published, you know, you're just working on it, imagining it um, happening. When you're, yeah, when you're imagining that, when you imagine yourself sitting with your publisher and him telling you what a great book you have and that it's going to be a top seller, you know, that kind of thing. Yes, that's what I want to imagine. Um, Meeting in Roy, hotel. Roe asked what our song was. So when we got back together, well, the song at that time was, Love Will Lead You Back by Taylor Dane, if any of you know that song. <laughs> but it was very appropriate. And then um, Barry White, he sings My Everything, You're My First, My Last, My Everything, because that's oh, kind of our story. That's so um, cute. You're my everything. Yeah, my first, my last, my everything, because we kind of skipped the middle. <laughs> we kind of went to the first and the last. <laughs> And then you ultimately, you still ended up being together. I'm going to measure this. Uh, Paula wanted to ask the size. Oh, that's oh. nice, Ro. Wedding song, Steelers. Always love you. Oh, yay! Our song is going to be called I Choose You. And that's all I can tell you at this point. <laughs> I Choose You. This is 10 and 1 8. 10 and 1 8 by 7 and 3 quarters. So it's a right, good Paul. size. It's a good size, I think. I chose it because I feel like I want it to be magnetized <laughs> so that I and can easily good. change and, it. And, and for now, that's what works for you. And maybe next few months, you'll say, you know what? I really want to have. A, a bigger board, one. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. And, and you can do that. No one says you can't change it. And make a traveling one, you know, to keep at your work at your desk. Of the ones that are really important, things that you really want to keep focused on. And, you know, you always have a minute at work. You could just sit there and do it too, you know. Absolutely. I love this board. I love it, Gina. Gina, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for guiding us, for teaching us how to make the vision board i mean i already i was already making it before but i feel like i get, i have more information and you your years and years of experience has enlightened me so so very much um Aww. anybody have any more questions for gina thank you so much gina for being our guest of honor thank you guys for having me and um don't forget after the video after the video is done 
Please. And it's posted for people to watch later. That's when you want to leave a comment if you'd like to chance to win this little book to begin your, your vision board. Um, like I said, there's nothing fancy about it. You can make these yourself. It's just a, a small, what do you call those books? Um, no comp book. Composition book, yeah. Mm -hmm. but, it's beautiful, um, though. Thank you. And then also remember that under the video will also be the links to The Secret, which you definitely need to watch, and the link to the video of the uh, vision traveling vision board that I did before and about six years ago, you could see that one. Watch it, watch it, watch it. So this came from the Dollar Tree, Paula. I hope you guys give it a thumbs up if you feel like th this is a good video or live that has taught you something. Um, don't forget, if you want a chance to win Gina's traveling vision board, don't forget to wait for the video to be posted and then put a comment. That's where we are going to be getting the names of um, the raffle entries. Thank you so, You're so welcome, much. Everyone. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out with us. Thank you for being part of this amazing community. We always, always talk about how amazing this community is. And we want it to get bigger and bigger and more friends to join us. Um, because why not? Spread the joy, right. right? Spread the creativity. Spread the positivity. Spread the crafty sisterhood. Why not? The more, and the better. I feel like and then every once in a while, it's nice to go off topic of creating a box or a whatever to do something like this. That's another part of our life. I mean, we share only our crafty life. And yes, this is crafty, but it's also in another level. So it's nice to share that with your friends. Absolutely. I hope you guys um, share your vision board on Instagram and make sure you tag me and Gina. My name is Christian's Crafty Adventures on IG. Gina is Scrapinology. I and what should we have uh -huh. a hashtag maybe? Yeah, let's do a hashtag. That'll be fun. Hashtag, hashtag PHA 2023. PHA 2023 vision board. That's easy. Let me write it down. Yep, very easy. Easy peasy. Always start with the PHA. And then the year. That's easy. Thanks, Gina number two. I heart you. Heart you. Heart you. <laughs> um, boo. I will. Won't forget ya. That was a bad part. 2023 <laughs> vision board. So easy. It's the easiest thing. Uh, so yeah, if you friend. make one, if you make one, it doesn't matter if you do the index card version, the clothesline version, the traveling version, the board version, whatever version it is that you choose. This is simple. Just share it with us. Just share it. Maybe it's going to inspire another person to create their own PHA 2023 vision board. It's going to spread good cheer for sure. Thank you, Gina, for all the knowledge. You're, You're welcome. A, a very, very wise individual. Hmm. I love it. I love you, friend. Thank you. I love you too. Thank you. And thank you everyone for sticking it out with us. I'm sorry it wasn't longer. I just, there really isn't a whole lot to say about it. Once you know the principle behind it and then how to do it, that's pretty much all there is to it. So practice, practice, and bring all those good things into your life. Thank you, everyone. I hope you have an amazing weekend. Thank you, Gina. Bye, Christian. Thank you, honey. Bye, everyone. Take care. Bye.